right, this is going to be a very quick video to show you how to do a, uh, an exploded view of an assembly file. So I'm just going to start with a very simple assembly file here of a bottle opener. And you need to have your assembly completed with multiple parts for this exploded view to work. All you need to do is go to your file menu, create a new presentation, IPN file. Once that is uploaded, you need to select the assembly file that you are wishing to create an exploded view from. Okay, and that'll bring you into this mode here. Okay, from here, you can have an animation tab. I'm just gonna hide that for the moment. Um, it's a very simple process. All you need to do is first select the components that you wish to tweak. So by tweaking components, I'm just going to select this first pin here. And then I'm just going to drag that away from the assembly. I'm going to click OK or green tick for yes. I'm going to tweak my next component, which will be my rivet on this side, and move it away. Click the green tick, and then essentially the last one and move it away. Okay, I can get it into a position that I think is OK for the demonstration purpose. Hit OK. And essentially all we have to do then is click create drawing view ask you to save it and save it wherever you wish okay. um, use a standard idw4 uh, format okay. and then you basically can just place it in here you can change the scale to suit whatever fits on your page the best however you wish to present it okay and then we can just move that into a position on the page and essentially that's it. You can fill out your title blocks however you please. Uh, if you want it to be a rendered view, just right click and edit that view and change to the rendered view. Okay, and that's basic, a very simple way of uh, creating an exploded view. If we were to go back, okay, and have a look at this animation page, uh, whilst we're actually doing that, what was essentially happening was an animation was being created as well. So this is another way you can create animations in Autodesk Inventor without having to go into the studio mode. So essentially if you hit the play button, it, it just records the uh, exploded view functions as it went through. So that's a little added extra bonus for the video. Thanks for listening. Um, stay tuned for next time.